Hey guys, today we're back with another gun video. And today on the channel, we'll be talking about the news that CZ might be purchasing Colt. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today, we're going to be talking about the new news out that CZ might be buying Colt. So, if you all have seen in the news, and I actually just uh, seen this a few minutes ago myself and read a little bit into it, and from what I can tell, it looks to me like CZ is in the last stages of purchasing Colt from uh, Colt Defense or whoever it actually belongs to now. I don't think that Colt has been an actual Colt since they went bankrupt in 2011. I think somebody actually bought them out then. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think they've been under new ownership for a while now. So, that being said, what do I think about CZ buying Colt? Well, as you all know, I'm a absolute huge fan of CZ firearms. I own uh, actually two CZs right now. I own the CZ AccuShadow, and I also own a Dan Wessing uh, Custom Kodiak. And as you all know, Colt, or not Colt, but CZ actually had purchased Dan Wesson a while back, and they have done wonders with their guns from the Dan Wesson 15357 Magnum to the uh, uh, Dan Wesson 1911s, the Valors, the Specialists, the Kodiaks, every one of them. They're just, they are amazing guns. And where CZ has already proved that they can take a, you know, a decent company and turn them into a major, I mean, some of the best guns around, I'm actually more than happy to hear this. Uh, and even then, I don't think CZ makes any AR-15s right now. And now that they're fixing to buy a Colt, they can start producing the 6940s, 6920s, uh, 6720s again, possibly. I mean, it's just the. I mean, it's endless, really. What they can act, what all they can make, and now, I mean, being able to uh, make a new Colt 1911 that's actually worth something that won't hang every single shot, or actually, you know has good build to it which will increase the price don't get me wrong because cz they are they do good stuff and you have to pay premium price for them but now at the same time i mean i would rather pay premium more premium price than what they are now and get a killer firearm than pay the high dollar price just for the name right now and get a sloppy firearm but now that being said though guys if this is true I mean, I'm I'm on my head right now, and I probably got a lot of money as soon as they uh, start producing uh, Colt firearms. Because, I mean, even if y'all didn't know, uh, Colt has been outsourcing their products now for a little bit, like the uh, new 6920s that they're making, where they just say carbine. Uh, it's been a rumor going around for a long time that they are uh, outsourcing their uh, product or their parts for their AR-15s, and now they're pretty much junk, is what everybody's been saying on Reddit and a few different them firearm. Uh, websites and all that on the uh, threads and from their own and i haven't actually purchased a new uh, colt like actual ar to keep in a very long time i think 2015 was the last uh, new colt i purchased and uh, it's a it's a nice gun the 6720 but now they're just not what they used to be but if cz can go in and purchase this and turn colt back into what colt used to be i mean think of what they could do with a python man that's that's a big thing right there they could even take and redesign it from the 2020 design and actually make it more like the old python to where more people be you know happier with it than the new one and i mean i would just build my head i would go tomorrow and purchase a a cold python made by colt that's owned by cz but guys i'm telling you though everybody i've seen a you know i've seen a mix of reviews i've seen people say you know uh no i wish they just let them keep doing what they're doing and i feel like these people don't really know what's going on behind the scenes at colt and i've seen other people like you know hey this is the my favorite uh, second or third favorite farm companies and with mine guys i'm being dead honest with you whenever it comes to actually how well they can build a firearm and how well the firearm is and the premium that they charge for it i understand but at the same time whenever you've got a killer firearm I don't care to pay a premium price for it. And I think CZ would be one of the best things that they could do would be, uh, or best thing that could happen to Colt would be sold out to a firearms company like CZ. That's just on top of everything. I mean, like I said, they make the premium, the most nicest guns that you can find, even from, I mean, the top three firearms makers right now in my head, whenever it comes to nice guns, would be CZ, H&K, and 
you know, six hours doing a really good job with their military contract and all that. Maybe even them. I don't know. It'd be hard to it'd be hard to put somebody else in the in the third spot just with how well they're doing in the firearms uh, business right now. But now I'm telling you, though, guys, CZ and H and K right there is head to head on how well they can produce a firearm. And I've I mean I'm in love with my Accu Shadow and that Colt uh, Dan West and Custom Kodiak or not the not Colt but the uh, CZ Dan West and Custom Kodiak is one of the best. Uh, if not the best 1911 I've ever had in my hands. And, I mean, I paid a premium price for it, like $2,500. But, like I said, it, it shoots better than Dan we- than uh, Wilson Combats I've had. And it shoots better than Ed Brown's I've had. And I'm just telling you guys, if CZ can actually pull this through and purchase Colt, I mean, I think that it would do wonders for them because not only would you be able to have a company that has a quality control and the build design and everything at CZ, but you would also be able to have new modern Colt firearms that they bought the rights to be able to be uh, purchased or, you know, built again on a good level, such as the Python, Anacondas, King Cobras, whatever else, and not have to deal with the headache that I went through whenever I purchased my Python because CZ is a gun company that crosses their T's and dots their I's, and I would 100% stick behind them purchasing coal. But guys, that that really be about the end of the video for now. I'll keep you updated. But from what it seems like to me, it seems like it's almost a for sure thing that they will be soon purchasing coal. But guys, leave your questions and comments in the section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is a great move for CZ purchasing coal to where they can reproduce uh, uh you know, old Colt firearms and build them right? Or do you think that they're messing up, that they're sticking their, you know, foot in their mouth kind of thing to where they're taking on a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff on their shoulders, guys, because there's a lot of people that still got guns out here that ain't worth anything that they're still trying to fix every day. And, uh, you know, it's just, I just wonder what's going to happen. But now if, if CZ does go through and buy Colt, I 100% think that they will be, per- that they will be building a, amazing firearm and i really cannot wait to get a new cz uh colt python you know it's just it's crazy to really think about and i'm i'm really ecstatic over this news guys but like i said let me think or let me know what you think about this in the description below or in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible you guys appreciate y'all viewing like and subscribe for more gun reviews gun news firearms knives and everything else and i'll see y'all in the next video